here is our question of the week so the question is we have to find the coefficient of x to the power 5040 in the polynomial function this is the polynomial that we are given looks good yeah so it is a pretty straightforward question anyone can attempt it if you know about polynomial and what's the meaning of coefficient of x to the power 5040 or x to the power any n so you can attempt it but uh, it is a little bit tricky like when i solved it first like it was not the exact question the question was a little bit simpler but still there was a trick so you have to identify the trick like many people i have given this question in my instagram post every day i post some weekday questions good question so there many people have tried it and they got tricked like you can see every answer is almost different and we have got six or seven answers and one of them is correct so you should definitely try it on your own there is a good chance that you may got trick and uh, that's a good thing uh, from there you can learn itself so we will solve the solution just next yeah so i hope you have a go through let's try to solve this so the first thing that we can do is like find the degree of the polynomial or the highest power so to find the highest power we can just multiply all the excess so what is the highest highest power or degree it is called degree highest power that we can get in this is when we multiply all the excess so x to the power 1 into x to the power 2 into the x to the power 3 up to x to the power 100 we know when base is same and exponents are multiplied powers get added so it's nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 100 this this is quite famous series we can solve this by ap or n n plus 1 by 2 so n is 100 n plus 1 is 101 by 2 so it's a good number x to the power 5050 50. now something can click like if the question asks find the coefficient of x to the power 5050 50, then it will be simply one because all the coefficient the number in front of x is one so overall the highest power or the highest coefficient of highest power is one but we are asked to find the coefficient of x to the power 5040 so we have to uh, somehow reduce the power by 10 minus 10 if you just reduce the power by minus 10 then we will get our required power so so instead of so how we got x to the power 5050 we have considered all the excess now we have to instead of uh, considering x to the power some number we have to consider is coefficient for example if there is somewhere in between this expression there is x to the power 10 minus 10 so instead of taking this x to the power 10 what if we consider the number so we will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to all number up to 100 except x to the power 10 and we will get our x to the power x to the power 5040 so what we can do is make cases where instead of taking the x to the power some number we are taking its coefficient its sorry its number the number expression so we are taking minus 10 or which adds up to 10 so let's take 10 and i am writing here the coefficient what is the coefficient of x to the power 5040 so it would be minus 10 yeah i hope this made sense so using this logic i guess someone has answered minus 10 but actually this is not correct here lies the trick like there could be other cases also no we can also remove so this is only one number which gives us 10 but we can also suppose instead of taking here x we can choose minus 1 and somewhere here will lie x to the power 9 minus 9 and instead of choosing this x to the power 9 we can choose minus 9 so there is also other case like 1 comma 9 and here the coefficient will be minus 1 
coefficient is nothing but the number in front of the required x and minus 9 so this to multiplied gives 9 yeah so we can now see a pattern that, that there will be many more cases so we can just choose we have to add up to 10 so we can just write minus 2 minus 8 which is 16 and now you got the pattern uh, 3 7 and uh, we can write 4 6 and you can think of writing 5 comma 5 but we don't have 2 5 in this expression there is only 1 5 x to the power 5 minus 5 so we cannot find any other 5 so we cannot write 5 comma 5 yeah so we have to ignore that so this is 21 and this is also not enough we can find some more numbers which can add up to 10 so let's this is the only possibilities for two numbers we can find three numbers also so we can start from one so let's say one and let's start with two itself small number one two and we can check seven yeah it works so minus one minus two minus seven it's minus 14 yeah and let's see more things one two seven we can write one three and there uh, so we have to now change the number one three and six yeah so six three is 18 but three numbers all are negative so overall they will multiply to get a negative number one four one four five this also works you have to just keep in mind that no two numbers should repeat because in the expression uh, there is only one number no two numbers appears so it will be minus 20 and is there are other uh, one five one five four will be repeated so we don't have to repeat so now let's start with two so we can we don't consider one because it will be again repeated two three two three five yeah this works so it would be like minus 30 and uh, two four four that we don't have to write because two four 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 repeats two times which is not possible so two five again itself so let's see three four so let's see three four i don't think there are other possibilities like 2 5 it's already written 2 6 2 again repeats 2 7 1 it's same so 3 4 3 4 7 no 3 4 7 3 4 3 it's again not possible uh, 3 2 3 2 we have huh? we have checked 3 5 again checked yeah so with 3 none of none of the other works 3 6 1 already have calculated 3 7 itself adds, adds up to 10 so these are the only possibilities in which three numbers add up to 10 without any repetition now there is another possibilities like one one number we have selected two numbers we have checked possibilities for three numbers is there a possibility for four numbers to add up to 10 let's see let's add up with small numbers first so one two three and with three six yeah six and four yeah and uh, it's it adds up to 10 so the smallest number 1 2 3 4 is the smallest number which adds up to 10 and uh, so so we don't have we can't have any other possibilities because this is the minimum number which gives 10 so any other possibility will give uh, the number more than 10 so it is 1 2 3 4 4 factorial or 24 yeah so this is plus 24 now we just have to add this we will get the final coefficient so what is the addition you can just add it so here we have 16 plus 24 which is 40 and 9 plus 21 30 so good number 70 for two possibilities and this is minus 50 and this is minus 232 so minus 82 from here so overall minus 12 and here it is minus 10 so minus 22 plus 24 which is 2 and which is our answer so this is our answer of this question plus 2 so this is not that hard also this is a good question for like j like such type of question are asked in your j means exam for bi from binomial theorem where there they ask 
coefficient of x to the power any number generally binomial theorem is used but in this question simple logic and algebra is used to solve this question and i hope you liked the question and understood the explanation that's it for today thanks for watching